Let's add and subtract some rational expressions. This video has some more advanced problems because I'm going to be working with some binomials, but if you'd like a simpler um, set of examples, there is an other video that you can take a look at. So 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 3. When you are adding and subtracting, you have to have common denominators. I don't have common denominators, so I want to take a look at what I need to do to get them to be the same. Now, the thing you need to remember is that this x plus 3 in my second denominator is connected. So if you need to, put parentheses around it because you can't break that apart. That comes as a pair. So I want to multiply by what's missing. In my first denominator, I have an x. I am missing the x plus 3 because that's a pair. The x and the 3 are together, x plus 3. So I'm missing an x plus 3. So whatever you're missing is what you're going to multiply by. And you're going to multiply on the top and the bottom because I want to keep it balanced. In my second denominator, I have an x plus 3, but I'm missing that x. So I'm going to multiply by x on the top and the bottom. So once I set up my multiplication, I'm going to multiply. On the left side in my numerator, I'm going to get x plus 3 because anything times itself, anything times 1 is itself. In the denominator, you can distribute, but you want to keep it in what we call factored form, just so that way later on in the problem, you can check to see if anything can cancel. So my denominators match. That was the goal. Now that my denominators match, I can combine my numerators. Now I'm going to show you um, the few steps along the way, but you don't have to do this if you don't need to. So I really have x plus 3 plus x. I'm just combining my numerators. I didn't do any math. I just wrote them together. And like I said, you can skip this step if you need. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. I have 2x plus 3 over x times x plus 3. And then you always want to check to see, can anything be factored or canceled? So nothing can be factored any further, and nothing is the same in the numerator or the denominator, so it can't be canceled. That's my final answer, 2x plus 3 over x times x plus 3. That was adding. Let's take a look at one with subtracting. So I have 6 over x minus 6 over x plus 2. Once again, remember that this x plus 2 is a package deal. So if you need to, put parentheses around it. You can't break it apart. So you want to multiply by what's missing because if you notice, I have different denominators. So my first fraction is missing x plus 2. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by x plus 2. Minus my second denominator is missing an x. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by x. Now, because I'm dealing with a binomial, you have to remember to distribute. So I'm going to set it up the long way, but you can skip this intermediate step. On the left side, my fraction is really 6 times x plus 2 over x times x plus 2. Minus my second fraction is 6 times x or 6x over x times x plus 2. So the reason I am setting this up, and this step you can step, skip if you need, I want to show you that you have to distribute. So this is really going to be 6x plus 12 over x times x plus 2 minus 6x over x times x plus 2. And now once I have common denominators, you're going to combine your numerators. So I'm keeping my denominator of x, x plus 2, and I am combining my numerators. If you notice, your 6x's are going to cancel because they're additive inverses, 6x minus 6x. So I'm going to end up with 12 times x, uh, sorry, over x times x plus 2. Once again, you always want to check to see if anything can be factored or canceled. In this case, it can't. So there is my final answer, 12 over x times x plus 2. So that's how you add and subtract rational expressions with unlike denominators when there's a binomial.